Jeremy Ashburn with SCDGEX.TV and this is the RSS project training video. Now the goals of this video are to give you a definition of the RSS project, show you how to do RSS projects, and give you some tips and tricks at the end. So here's a quick definition. The RSS project drops RSS links across a variety of RSS websites out there such as RSS Mountain, FeedCat, FeedEgg, and Boing Boing. And RSS projects are really important because they actually increase your indexing rates. Now here's an overview of how RSS projects work. You essentially enter the URLs you want to submit or you select the RSS you want to submit. You fill in the rest of the fields and tags and nuke it. And later on you'll see results as Google indexes your links. So let's take a look at the software. Now before you get started with an RSS project, first you want to make sure that your profile is set up to do an RSS project. So I'll take a look here under profiles, scroll down. This profile here I can tell is ready to do an RSS project. I can hit module here to sort by module. I can tell here that these three RSS sites are set up for this profile. Here's the site, username and password. Okay, so this is ready to go. Back to the projects tab. So to do an RSS project, you hit new RSS project. Double click to open. Okay, so here's a quick overview here. So what you're gonna do here is put your RSS feed into this box here or select an RSS from an RSS list here. Then you can choose to submit all the RSS feeds above or specify the number of RSS feeds you want to submit. Then you do the title and tags here. And then here you select the RSS sites with accounts. So I'll just walk through each one of these here. Okay, so the first thing is you either do one or the other. You either put an RSS in this field here or choose an RSS list. So I have an RSS feed here from one of my blogs. Okay, so if I wanted to choose an RSS from an RSS list, that would be simple. I would just click that there. But I want to use this feed here. So I'm going to choose to submit all the feeds above, or I can specify the number of RSS feeds. Now it's not recommended to submit more than five RSS feeds at once. A lot of sites will block you right away if you try to submit more than five, so don't do that. So next I'm going to fill in the title and tags. And next I choose which profile I want to actually nuke with. So I'll scroll down to this profile. Okay, and then next I'm going to choose the URL list. Next I'm going to check sites with accounts. Okay, so this shows me I have 28 accounts under this profile. Okay, so the last thing you need to do here is actually select a category for each RSS. Now here's something I want to point out here. Take a look at this. Let's take a look at the profile again here. Okay, so I can scroll down. Okay, so look. So this profile has three RSS sites set up under it. So you might be wondering why are there 28 showing up in this list and not three? And the reason why is that not every RSS site needs a username and password to just submit a feed. So the ones that do will be automatically set up with the username and password when you do the account creation. And the ones that don't need it will just be selected. So at this point I'm going to double check everything here. I've got my RSS feed in there. I'm submitting all feeds above. I've got the title and tags filled in. And I've got the categories filled in here. And I've selected all sites with accounts. The profile is selected here. And the URL list is selected here. So I can either hit start or schedule. I'll hit start. Okay, so it's done. So 
So this tells me here how many successful submissions I had and how many failed submissions I had. It gives you a red X for failed or green check for success. So here's the date and time, the site it was submitted to, and the URL if it's applicable. And most of these URLs are not applicable because they have to be approved. So at this point, I can save this report if I want to, or I can load another report. So I'm going to close this. Okay, so we're done. All right, let's end this video with some tips and tricks. It's a good idea to spend four or five variations of the title, and you should be fine for several submissions. Also, why would you do an RSS project? The biggest benefit of doing RSS submissions is increasing your indexing rates. Each time you do a submission to a social network nuke or a bookmark nuke, you get a new RSS feed URLs that's been created. So you want to submit those whenever they appear. Also, each RSS feed only needs to be submitted one time. Most sites won't accept multiple submissions of the same URL. It's also a good idea to combine multiple feeds from the same niche. It looks a lot nicer that way. You can do multiple large product pages and put them all into one RSS feed. And what happens is they're all output nicely with a product name, image, and description, and a link to the actual landing page. And you can submit the feed through this RSS module. Now on sites that run WordPress, you can use plugins such as RSS2Blog or WPOmatic to automate the overall process. And you don't have to ping your RSS submissions. It won't do any good since the RSS services SE Nuke is using, those services are actually crawled several times daily by the major search engines and frequently scraped by thousands of blogs as well. So don't ping your RSS submissions. Alright, that's the end of this training video. I'll see you in the next.